Hi everybody, it's Dr. Mike Ipico from Jerry and Polly.com. This is Gus. Hey Gus. Who is a poodle? Um, who a golden doodle, sorry, he's got that tail. Golden doodle, who is about five and a half years old, and he is here for a post-ER visit for xylitol. And I was just talking about how much I hate xylitol. So his dad's gonna give us a quick talk about what happened with the xylitol. What product it was in. All right, so the product was pure peppermint gum. Um, Sugar-free, sweetened with xylitol. Um, his brother had knocked off the entire package, which was unopened, um, onto the floor. And he how many down. is in a package? 50 pieces. 50 pieces. Um, so he knocked it off, and, and Gus had eaten uh, a bulk of it. Um, and I went down, and I, I cleaned up. There was probably about six or seven pieces left um, from that. And I went up, cleaned up everything, went back upstairs, and uh, I came down 45 minutes later, and uh, he was just standing there. He was unable to move. Um, and by the time I had uh, poison control on the phone and the emergency vet, um, he had laid down. He was very confused, looking all around, panting heavily. Um, and by the time I got him on the way to the hospital, um, he'd had a seizure um, on the way there. Um, and it was a terrible experience. So he went to the ER, and what did the ER do for him? They, uh, they kept him in there for two days. On mainly, fluids. Mainly, yeah, yeah, fluids. Yep. Um, and just, you know, trying to protect the liver, making yeah. sure he could hold his levels. And... Yeah. So they did blood work initially, and he is here now to check it um, to make sure that it's still good, that his liver still looks good. So, you know, they, uh, the these days they're putting sugar-free everything in everything including peanut butter. So my days of telling people, oh, you know, if you want a good boredom tool, you can buy a Kong toy and fill it with peanut butter. And now I have to say, make sure it's organic, make sure it doesn't have anything in it. You know, these days you cannot keep chewing gum or candy or, or just about anything. I mean, dogs are curious and they have a nose that's about a million times better than ours and they will find something if they can get access to it and, and that will be the end of it. Um, you know, the xylitol is now in everything. So my suggestion is honestly, don't chew gum. <laughs> it's just about in every single gum. Try to find something. If you do, you know, have candy or gum around, that make sure it doesn't have xylitol in it. You know, go to the health food stores to try to find your stuff. And then everything has to be locked away. That goes for all food stuffs, all medications, and even candy chewing gum. So this is a story with a very happy ending, but a lot of it is that, you know, they found what he had eaten. That's always really important that they called the pet poison control always call them asap it might be forty dollars that you blow off for nothing but it also might save your pet's life and then follow up with your er vet or us so this is gus a very happy ending to a xylitol story if you have any questions about xylitol or um accidental ingestions or even when to not call or call poison control Give us a call here at Jerry School Vet, or you can find me um, online on our Facebook page or at poly.com. Good boy, Gus. Thanks for your story. Take care. Bye.